big little legs. Skinny kid with plenty. Hey, man. How much worse the game has gotten Listen since he's retired. This, bro. Take a look. What do you think about some of the some of the superstars nowadays is not being in the because you know like you like oh we grew up yeah. watching Jordan and Mike Dominique, Dominique. And, uh, the, yeah. the greats was the ones yeah. that were putting on the show and I'm yeah. not saying that I don't want to see some of these other boys because nowadays some of these other boys got crazy hops too but I'm yeah. saying like I would like to see our super superstars if you one of those crazy all right all right after this dunk contest I went back and I watched 19. 88, 87, Dominique, MJ. I went back and watched Kobe Bryant's dunk contest. By the way, Darvin Ham was in that dunk contest and he got robbed. And that was also the Michael Finley viral uh, doing a cartwheel. <laughs> but a lot of people in social media nowadays, right? Jalen Brown tried to do it. He got slandered. It wasn't the best dunk, obviously, but... All-Star Weekend is supposed to be for the All-Stars, right? And I feel like we got to a point when it comes to the dunk contest where it's like, it's just who got the specialty dunks. Guys we never heard of, but specialty dunks, you know? Like Jacob Toppin, I don't even think he's played a game in the NBA yet. He probably only got drafted because he's Obi Toppin's brother. He got drafted by the Knicks. Um, we got Mac McClung who, who can't even play in the NBA because nobody wants to play him, but then they let him do dunk contests. And I'm not trying to bash on these dudes because Mac McClung like saves, saves the dunk contest now, but it's only because no all-stars will do it no more. And there's a reason no all-stars do it because of social media. You see how much Jalen Brown got slandered, bro. But if he did it with three other all-stars and none of them were elite specialty dunkers, it would be a different type of vibe. And it sucks because you could tell the judges were trying to give Jalen Brown a better score to keep him in there. And it, it makes it look bad because McClung's doing dunks that are way better than him and they're undermining his scores. And it's like, it makes it bad. But in my opinion, that's just the start of it. So we'll see how Kobe has to say yeah, about that. Aaron Gordon. Oh, dude. Because it used to be competitive. Yeah. It used to be competitive. All right, and then this is what we're also talking about, right? Screw the dunk contest. I could care less about the dunk contest. I'm not going to lie. I want to watch the All-Star game be competitive. Now, 2020, for some reason, that was the most competitive it's been in a long time. And 2020 was actually a pretty good All-Star uh, weekend. Uh, that was Aaron Gordon and uh, Derek Jones Jr.'s dunk contest. I think that was, that was, no, Curry was 2021, I think, three-point contest. But anyways, the All-Star game the last two years has been absolutely horrible, bro. Last year, I couldn't even watch it. I got halfway through and I literally turned it off. I, I couldn't watch it no more. It was Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum taking turns, just pulling up threes, not even guarding each other, really. And I was hoping this year would be a little bit better going back to the West East format, and it was worse, bro. They broke a record for most points scored. I, I turned it off in the third quarter. In the second quarter, I literally switched to college basketball, which I hate watching college basketball because the spacing's bad, the offense just not good, players over dribble. When I say over dribble, they miss reads that I see. And then I'm like, all right, whatever. Who cares about college basketball? But what I'm saying is I switched off the NBA All-Star game to watch college basketball. and Two teams I don't ever watch, bro. Just because I wanted to see competitive basketball. And it's sad. Because at this point, I think there's a couple problems. Number one. The NBA is trying to put all these rules in with the 65 games played. and They're trying to do everything to make the players play games, right? Because we're in the player empowerment era, which I, I like it because, you know, I always support the players. But when it comes down to the All-Star game, you got to think about it. These dudes are halfway through the season. They're tired. They're the best players in the league. They were carrying their teams, most of them. And now they got to play another game. So they don't want to go full out. Nobody wants to get injured. And there's no incentive for them to win. What is the point? Now, back in the day, 
with Kobe, you know, Jordan, Kevin Garnett, they took things a little bit more personal. Like they had more pride when it comes to playing against each other. That's why they were so competitive. This generation don't really have that no more. They realize they don't have to have that. They're playing basketball, the game they love, and they're doing it for money. I mean, they're they're making millions of dollars. They're they're satisfied. They don't they realize they don't have to hate each other. And I think back in the day, that's that's what made you know, obviously it's what makes sports kind of entertaining for some people. But I think since they realize that they they understand that they got the power, they don't really gotta try hard because it's just you know, there's nothing to win for and on top of that if you get your ankles broken is going viral on social media remember 2020 lebron got blocked by Giannis when they were trying and it went viral on social media and people just don't want that type of pressure when it's supposed to be a weekend to relax all right so that's why i think it's not happening but watching the game literally it, it, it hurts me as a basketball fan and an nba fan because it's the worst thing i've ever seen in my life and i think some people might even like it, but nobody wants to see wide open dunks and alley-oops and threes. I don't care about that. I care about real basketball. I want to see what type of coverage defensive schemes are being played. I don't even care about iso ball. I want to see how Jokic reads a defense against five other all-stars or how he looks with Steph Curry on his team and like full on trying, but we'll never get to see that because it's not like that no more. So we'll see what Kobe has to say about it. And like you know, fans want to see the best pickup game in the world. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what, what I said. They yeah. want to see you running up and down and dunking and doing all this crazy. Like they want to see the what happens when you get this collection of best basketball players on the planet and they play and they go head up against each other. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you guys play harder at a pickup game in UCLA. For really? and they they do, billions bro. of people watching. For real. They do. You know what I'm saying? They do. Uh, turn the All Star game needs a little needs a little change. And I think that's the problem. The reason they play harder in those uh, uh, Rico runs is because there's no fans there. There's nobody to get embarrassed if you get your ankles broken because you're trying. And you ain't getting paid for the games. So you, there's no point of risking a bad play. People, that's that's social media really hurt the league. And I, ever since social media, the All-Star game got a little bit worse. Changing, Have you noticed um, that? I always love competing in them. Um, I didn't lose many of them. Nah, me and CP one, used to nah, talk all the time. Like, on. You took it serious. Yeah, yeah. We, we went. Like, I don't think me and CP, when we played together in the All-Star game, I don't think we've ever lost a game. Yeah. And we okay. used to look at each other and say, okay. Well, Take pride in that. They don't want to play, we going to yeah, play. Yeah, fourth quarter, let's yeah. go get them. Yeah. <laughs> NBA players have come. And it's crazy because that's how 2020 was. And I don't know what happened since then, bro. Somebody please let me know why the hell this has changed because – it's just too much. And maybe I'm getting older, but I didn't like the neon court. I didn't like during the celebrity game. There's 50 different on court interviews during the game. And then I didn't like how in the rising stars game it's it's up to 25 points. It's basically one quarter of basketball. It's just frustrating to me because they're doing too much now. They tried simplifying the All-Star game, which I was very excited to watch. I love the West versus East, four quarters, no target score. But now the player's just not trying. They did the same thing last year. I don't know where to fix it. But at the same time, I can't be too mad because, like I said, I am a fan of the players first, not the league. I could care less about the league. I care about the players because they're the best basketball players in the world. And I just love basketball. I love playing basketball. So I look up to these dudes because I like to learn from them. I like basically that's why I like basketball so much, not because I like the NBA and the entertainment business of it all. So I understand from the player's perspective, there's no incentive to try hard in the All-Star game in 2024. First off, social media, if you... If you're trying hard and say you get dunked on in the All-Star game, it's going viral. And guess what? You don't get paid to be in the All-Star game. This is supposed to be your little tiny break from the season. You're supposed to get your second win. You see what LeBron came out and said already. And at first, I kind of got mad at it. Like, why are you playing in the All-Star game if you're not going to play Thursday? And he only played a half game, but he's doing it for the fans, obviously. he, he He's going to play, you know... It, 
20th All-Star season, whatever, whatever. But at the same time, the people that don't get selected All-Star get to rest. Anthony Davis said last year he was happy he didn't get to be an All-Star because he got to rest like he was like he should have. This is the only rest the players get the entire season with all the back-to-backs going on. You got to play 65 games now. And I like that because as a fan, I want to see the best players in the world play. But I think the only way to fix the All-Star game is if you give the players some type of incentive. The same way they did with the in-season tournament. You know, everybody gets half a million each or something. That's the only way they could do it. 2020, they were playing for something. They were playing for charities, I believe. And the charities were there of the high schools or whatever. They had something to play for. But I think that's the only way you're going to get competitive games. Because back in the day with Kobe and them, Kobe was different. Nobody's like Kobe. They don't got the mentality of, I'm going to go at you. I think the closest one to that I see in the All-Star game that tries every year as a superstar is Giannis. Giannis actually will play defense and stuff like that. But it's just the vibe that it it's just set now. And it's nothing's going to change unless you make a huge incentive change. And I don't know what that's got to be. But this is just me ranting. I am no videos from the All-Star weekend because I'm not going to lie. I didn't have fun watching the Rising Stars games were, I loved them because the G League team came and played real basketball and then we got to see real basketball with some of the best young players in the league. That was better than the All-Star game. I'm just mad that that was only up to 25 points, basically one quarter of basketball. I wanted to see that go on longer. At least back in the Rising Stars game, they used to have that thing four quarters and they try harder than the All-Stars because younger players, like I said, got a little bit more pride and ego involved and they don't want to think somebody else is better than them. Same thing we've seen with Jaden Ivey and Benedict Matherin. So that I enjoyed. I really enjoyed the Steph versus Sabrina thing. That was my favorite part of all All-Star Weekend. The three-point contest was cool, but the court was way too damn bright. It was bad. The lights were reflecting off their faces. It's hard to watch. Just make it simple again. And for the dunk contest, like I said, the only way we could fix that and make it kind of cool again is we already seen every type of dunk the world has ever seen. And it... I think we should stop going after special these dunks. We should start going after all-stars. Next year, I want to see John Morant, Zion. I don't care if Jalen Brown is back. I don't want to see any specialty dunk guys. I want to see all superstar dudes in the NBA. Even if they're not going to pull out crazy dunks, it's going to be lit because they got fans. It's as simple as that. So let me know what you guys are thinking. How, do, how would you fix the all-star game? How did you enjoy this weekend? Um, games don't start till Thursday, bro. A huge break in the week. I don't know what I'm going to do because I do not like watching college basketball. <laughs> Anyways, though, this is Zite. Peace.